First, in this video, I shall try to give you a little exploration about an autobiography. And this autobiography title is Amar Katha, the story of my life in uh, English, but Amar Katha in uh, Bengali. And it was first trans uh, published in 1912. And this autobiography is written by Bino Dini Dasi himself. And uh, she was the first Bengali actress, actually theater actress, who had established herself as an actress in the 19th century. So it was unimaginable for us uh, how a woman uh, had dared to live the life of an actress. So her journey, her pain, her suffering, her all the struggles she has tried to depict through this autobiography. And I will try to give you an insight about the autobiography. So before that, let's try to know about her in a little way. Binodini Das, she was born in 1863 and died in 1941. She was also known as Noti Binodini. Uh, she was an Indian Bengali actress and uh, thespian. And she started acting at the age of 12 and ended by the time she was 23, as she later recounted in her noted autobiography, Amar Katha, The Story of My Life, which was pub published in 19, means written in 1912 and uh, published in 1913. And uh, she was one of the earliest actresses of 19th century public theater in Bengal. And Binodani Dasi was also a powerful writer with a voice of her own. And her autobiographical writings, Amar Katha and Amar Avinetri Jibon, 1924-2025, along with her poetry, speak of a woman who wanted much more than contemporary society was willing to grant her. A founder member of the first actor on theater, Binodani was never allowed to forget her prostitute origin or her status as a mistress to patrons of theater. So actually, Binodani Dasi, she born out of wedlock. So she was a kind of bastard child and and she was uh, as she belonged to uh, that category uh, that's why she had to face many kinds of discrimination in her lifetime so that all thing that all pain suffering that all things she had tried to depict through her autobiography and a founder member of the first uh, actor on theater binodini was never allowed to forget her prostitute origin or her status as a mistress to, pay, to patrons of theater and uh, Okay, and Rimli Bhattacharya's analytical introduction to this volume examines the wo world of theater in 19th century Bang. Uh, uh, the, the writer Rimli Bhattacharya, she has said that uh, she has located the pressure and misfortune which drove Binodini to seek release and legitimacy in, in the world of theater in an attempt to escape the stigma of her birth. Binodini's writing stand out from women's writing in Bengal because she was not a gentlewoman and had little formal education. Yet in her writing, she dared to articulate her many unanswered questions, he, uh, her fears and desires in a way that few public figures would dare to do even today. And I have already told you she was, she was born to prostitution and she started her career a, as a courtesan. And at age 12, she played her first serious drama role in Calcutta's National Theatre in 1874 under the mentorship of his founder, Girish Chandra Ghosh. And her career coincided with the growth of the proscenium inspired form of European theatre among the Bengali theatre-going audience. During a career spanning 12 years, she enacted over 80 roles, which includes those of Pramila, Sita, Draupadi, Draupadi Radha, Ayesa, Kaikei, Moti Bibi, and Kapal Kundala, among others. And she was one of the first South Asian actresses of the theater to write her own autobiography. And that was unprecedented. Her sudden retirement from the stage is insufficiently explained. And her autobiography has a consistent trait of betrayal. She has violated every canon of the feminine Smriti, Kanta, uh, Smriti Katha and wrote down what amounted to her indictment of respectable society. Ramakrishna, the great saint of 19th century Bengal, came to see her play in 1884. So she was a very influential and prominent actress of that time or actor at that time. And she was a pioneering entrepreneur of the Bengali stage and introduced modern techniques of stage makeup through blending European and indigenous style in the Bengal or Cal Calcutta. And uh, she, Binodini Das, led her life on her own terms amidst all impositions by society. She carved her uh, niche as an excellent actor, Niche, and paved the way for other women in the industry. She certainly was a 19th century fem feminist, and we have no doubt about that. Apart from that, she has also revealed the dark side of being a woman in a male-dominated profession, especially in the theater, in the Bengali theater in Bengal. And she has also raised multiple issues like gender pay disparity, objectification by audiences and co-actors, poor working conditions, and caste discrimination at the time. And the narrative of Amar Katha, the long forgotten autobiography of Binodini, it is one of the finest producers of the 19th century Bengali colonial theater and is surprisingly a saga of hopelessness and despair. Being one of the modern women to bring in changes in the mode of dialogue, delivery and makeup of, of stage artists, her monologue have often uh, depicted about the public and pri private life she has uh, led and is muted in gender specific socializations and embedded deeply in betrayals and hypocrisy. However, uh, 
unlike most of the women of her time, she didn't channelize her anger by way of her acting, rather contain her melancholy in deep silences. As Guy to Spivak it reiterated, can the subaltern speak? It is interesting to note that despite having several avenues, Binodi fell back on her ill-fated life with a kind of a surreal surrender, where, whether it be her earlier mentors who fell back on their promises of lifetime companionship or her being used as a ploy to submit the whims of another rich mentor, she sacrificed her life and career to resuscitate re the dying national theater, never questioning verbally the torment meted out to her in this process. And as will be pointed out in the later par paragraphs, uh, Binodini faced marginalization from different quarters of life and by men and, men and women alike, men who voristically savored her femininity both on and off stage as a public woman, as well as from women who dismissed her as she was a nostome or a spoiled woman. So many people date up him, him in a very unjust way, men, women, both. And many uh, sections of the society call her nostome, means nostome means, uh, means corrupt girl or corrupt woman. She says, as translated from her autobiography, Amar Katha by Rimi Patacharya on her subdisposition in society, in me you have created an ill-fated woman whom the tree wall called the sinner, desires cry out and die within, but to speak of my pain is to invite contempt. Binodhi Ni was exploited by her unnamed mentor who never gave her the respect of a wife in spite of making money, sorry, many prom promises. Besides, he went off to marry another woman by lying to uh, her about his trip to his native village. Then subsequently, there was a violent dispute between her rich protector and uh, Guru Mukrai. Then Benudani, for her passion for theater, left her rich protector so that she could pursue, par pursue at Guru Mukrai to spend un unlimited sums of money for the construction of the auditorium. Binodini's colleague had assured her that the name of this new theater would be would be B, means in the name of her. B theater after her name. Binodini trusted her colleagues. However, she came to know that it, it was named Star Theater only after the re registration was done or over. Then Binodini wrote in her autobiography, I wondered afterwards, was all their love and affection merely a matter of words in order to get some work out of me? But what could I do? I, I was then completely tied to them. And I had ne never suspected that they would deceive me and behave in such a dishonest manner. The grief that I had not felt in my refusal of such a huge sum of money, I now intensely felt about their behavior. Although I never said a word to anyone, this is something I will never forget. Binodini talked about another rich protector towards the end of her acting career, who became her Hiroi Devota, the lord of her heart, for whom she had given up stage, fame, and the pros prospect of wealth. Such complete self-denial would be a pro precondition for receiving uh, protection from protector from uh, from other predatory men and some love. For Binodini, is that put an end to the need for both. That's it. Thank you so much.